Julian Javier, though, is with us. That's Tim McCarver. I'm Dan McLaughlin. Great to have you back in St. Louis. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Awesome to have you here. Uh, when you think of 1968, you. <laughs> what comes to mind for Julian Javier? Well, you know, uh, I love St. Louis anyway. And uh, I came here to see all my friends together, the old friend, and I feel so happy. You happy to see this guy? Oh, yeah. Are you oh, kidding me? Yeah. He fight with me, you know, but I love him. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had, we lockered about, about four lockers away, and I, I can't, that is not an inconsiderable thing. When you locker near someone, and you're trying to also uh, learn them, learn their personalities and things like that, and, and that's how we became close friends, really. Yeah, right. Uh, when you say that, I mean, that's a fair statement, isn't it? Yes. Huh? Yes. And from a, from a player standpoint, nobody, nobody could play the game around second base like Julian Javier did in the 60s. And I'm talking about Mazeroski and all that. You, you hit a little looper in the right center field, he was there all the time. Thank Not occasionally. You. Thank you, Tim. And nobody took him out of a double play. <laughs> nobody. Well, he <laughs> called you the Phantom. Is that correct? Yep. And it stuck with you for the rest of your career, probably the rest of your life. Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. <laughs> but at least when you're talking there, baseball. There, there was one play <coughs> that is one of the more remarkable plays that I was ever a part of. And Kurt Flood had a weak throwing arm. And, and Red had told Hooley on a, on a, with a man on second base and a single to center field, go out away from your position and find out, in other words, immediately take the throw from Flood and if there's a play at the plate. You remember the play? Yeah. Against the Cubs? Yep. Al Spangler hit it. Ron Willis was our pitcher. And Ted Savage was on at second base. And base hit to center field. Kurt Flood fed the ball to Javier, and Hooley threw a bullet, and I mean a bullet to home. The scoring was 8-4-2. We won the game, the last play of the game. Crowds going bananas at Bush 2, right? <laughs> yeah, really, uh, right. That, that one of the more memorable plays you yes, ever yes, had? Yes, one, uh, one of the many I make, you know. The, uh, that was a great one, yeah. Oh, that was a great play <coughs> in that throw. <coughs> Excuse me. What did you think? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. If you're no, I said uh, we have a, uh, that time we had good money because you know that Red uh, used to go sleeping over there and, and you talked every time you want to talk to him. He said it was like a uh, sleeping. And one day I don't know it was Macabre or Gibson, <laughs> they put a little uh, cherry bomb down under the sea. <laughs> and that thing go like this. He almost he that <laughs> I don't know who did it. Did you? I didn't do it. I didn't. I didn't fool with well, you. Know, you know who did. Nineteen sixty, you come to St. Louis. Uh, <coughs> obviously, it, it changed the fortunes of of your pro career. What comes to mind when you think of that trade? Well, you know, the, for me, it was a little hard, you know, for when I was playing the to play because when they get to the clubhouse, the guy told me, "Do you have him getting trade to to St. Louis?" I saw they, they I say, oh, they, he, he told me not to, not to uniform. Had to you ever been to St. Louis before? No, never. So, he said, oh, well, baby, maybe they send me home. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold that thought. <laughs> hold that thought. We need to take a quick time out. Can you stick around a little bit sure, with us? Sure, okay, sure. Julian Javier is our guest. <laughs> We're celebrating 68. The Phillies and the Cardinals are coming up. And again, our first pitch right around 45. So we're about, uh, oh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes away from the first pitch here on Fox Sports Midwest. And Julian Javier, I guess, the great second baseman for the Cardinals back in the 60s, uh, I think one year into the 70s, named one of your sons after after Stan Musial. Yeah, Stanley, yeah, Stanley, my younger son. You were you were a uh, very close friend of, of Stan. Oh, real so, close. Wasn't yeah. he the sweetest guy in the oh, world? Oh, yeah, he was a great gentleman. So so genuine in every way. Yeah. You, I don't think you can see anybody like him. No. He you know, the, there's a question that I get all the time, and it's about Julian and Javier. And now that you're here, I get to ask it. So in 1967, when the Cardinals wrap up the World Series. You see an umpire, and I asked you about this last year, Tim, but I, I don't know if you know where I'm going with this, but there's an umpire 
And the final out that rips off the hat of Julian Javier. <laughs> In 1964? 67. No, 67. What, what was the deal with that? What happened with that hat? No, you know what happened. Um, we were together in there, so he came behind and said, Holy, I can get you hot. Say, okay. <laughs> Who was it? Augie, Augie, Donatelli. Augie, Donatelli. Augie Donatelli. Yeah. Right. Donatelli. Right. Donatelli is the one yeah, that got the Augie hat. Augie Donatelli. Yeah, right. I saw him in, 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 in St. Petersburg. And uh, he said, Hey, Augie, where is my hat? He said, I got in my, my, in my bar. He got a bar <laughs> over there. You're kidding so, me. Yeah. So the guy, the guy he, he, I ready. went there. He got it right hanging in there. And of course, you know, today, <laughs> It'd be worth a fortune for right, crying yeah. out loud. So Augie owes you some money. Yeah. <laughs> Augie's estate owes you money. I have to go and get it under the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> under the bar. Yeah, under the bar. <laughs> you need to go get that hat back. Yeah. yeah. So there it is. That's the answer. Yeah. I, I can't believe how many fans... Because we always see the final out of the World Series. Yeah. Do you get asked that a lot, too? No, no, I didn't. Just when you come back to St. Louis yeah, and people talk about it. Yeah, yeah. right. So when you think about uh, Bob Gibson in 1968, or just Bob Gibson in general, what comes to mind for Julian Javier? I told you, I don't know. I don't know what to say about Bob Gibson. I mean, he's, well, too great. It was great, great. I and mean, he, uh, he's a good friend, too, but I told you, give his, give his uh, he know, McCarver know about that. He's a great guy. He was great. Yeah. Beautiful guy. And he was so funny <laughs> about everything. That's it. That's the thing. Throughout everything, Bob, I mean, you'd never know Bob was on his way to, to the type of year that he was having because he was as fun as everybody else. Yeah, right. I mean, he was part of everybody's jokes. He'd be, you know, you'd make right a joke of out of him. Right? Huh? He's right in the middle of it. Oh, yeah. Right in the middle of everything. All the time. So, who are they, when your playing career was through, you really got involved in business. What did, what did you do after your playing career he was done? He owns a quarter of the Dominican well, uh, Republic now. <laughs> you kidding? No, no. You know, we don't make, we don't make money at the time. Well, that's so true. I, I have a few pesos. No, you know. <laughs> a few pesos. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, you do. That, that's just wonderful. You have a son who's a doctor. Yes. You, yes. Stan Javier, of course. You, um, have, you have how many? Seven grandchildren? Uh, I got a, no, I got about 20 grandchildren. Oh, grandchildren. Wow. Oh, that's seven, right. Seven great, great. Seven great? Yeah, great. Great, 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 great. My gosh. That's not much. I need for a few months before I die. <laughs> One of the one of the great guys in our game then and now, Julian yeah. Javier. And do, excuse me, Doctor Javier told me to tell you hello, Chichi. Chichi, you're Chichi. Right. Well, well, you know, oh yeah, I remember when he was this high. And that's the thing, you know, when you're with a team for a long time and a decade is a pretty long time in in any yep. uh, baseball period because of the chance of trades and. Guys going everywhere else and all that sort of stuff, but you do you you grow up with a family. And we have a beautiful team. Yeah, we, we really did. Club. Yeah, we, we everybody was up together. That's why we win so many two. We win two because everybody was together. That's well, well said. Yeah. Wonderful to have you back in okay, town. Okay, thank you. Thank Fans you. love you. Great to see you. Thank, thank you, Dimmy. Thank you, Julian. Julian. Bye, bye, Julian and Javier with us, our guests. We're celebrating Maybe. 68. We'll have baseball coming up in about 10 minutes or so. And also Steve Carlton. This will be a treat. Always fun to visit with Lefty when we come back.